My neighbor just called me. He had a cow that had twins uh, yesterday afternoon late, and she is only claiming one. He said we could have it, so we're gonna go try to find it. got to fix a place for him. It's pretty nasty in here where the bulls have been coming in for water. So I'm going to put a, a corral panel up here and then I'll go get a, a bale of straw, make bedding for him. Louie, leave him alone. That's as good a bed as I'll sleep in tonight. Soft and warm for Roger. We're naming him Roger because that's the first comment we got back when we asked you to name Cav. Cornelius from Conus, Lithuania offered up the name Roger. So that's what he's gonna be from here on out. Now we'll go get him some colostrum because I'm not sure he had any from his mother. If he did, it wasn't much. Okay, the little guy is probably not even 24 hours old. Will weigh maybe 30, 35 pounds. He's a twin. So uh, we think just from looking at his sides, I think maybe he sucked, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm giving him about a half a quart of colostrum warm right now. It's about two in the afternoon. We'll give him another half a quart about dark. He's not willing to suck yet, so we're going to give him this uh, an esophageal feeder. Now he's relaxed. What up, dude? Want something to eat? You get a nice warm bed, and your mouth is warm this time. I had a cow that had a stillborn calf during the night last night. I've got her up next to uh, little Roger, the twin that we're raising on the bottle. So we went down and rubbed this old towel all over the stillborn calf to kind of keep its scent. And now I'm gonna rub it all over Roger and maybe she'll claim it as her own. All right, we'll see. New heifer's gonna have to wait to be tagged. Her mother didn't want her to be touched by a human today, as you can see. I thought maybe she was gonna follow me into the corral where it'd be easy to put a tag on her, but we'll get her in there too, maybe. This is number 89. Pete, born just early this morning, so we got him tagged and didn't have to catch him. He just laid there and took it like a man. Named by Zach, the sprinkler. Two cows off in the woods by themselves, but it's odd that they would be together. 
they're completely separate from the main herd. So I'm going to step out there and see if it looks like uh, they might be thinking about calving. That would be very unusual for two of them to be off together to calve. But I'll go check them out. The red cow, I can see a little calf laying by her, so the black white face might just be with her to help out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this red cow is the uh, mother of the little red heifer we tried to tag this morning, and she wouldn't let us get close, and uh, she's still not going to let us get close. You can see her paw on there. And I respect that. I'm not ever going to try to force one to let me tag it. Black white face cow, I think, is pretty close. Matter of fact, she went over and kind of licked the little red calf. Like maybe she's trying to claim it, but that won't happen. She'll have one here this afternoon or tonight, most likely. We just tagged the newest calf. Uh, subscriber in uh, North Carolina named Bill, named him, the calf's name is Toby, number 91, Toby. Got another one tagged, uh, she was named Ellie compliments of Allie from Springfield, Missouri. Okay, that's Roger right there that uh, we started raising on the bottle because he was a twin from the neighbor. Had this cow that lost her calf stillborn Saturday. And so we have successfully grafted him on to this cow. And uh, it took her a half a day maybe, but she has accepted uh, Roger as her own. I'm gonna turn them out tomorrow into the pasture. Everybody loves a happy ending, and it's time for Roger and his mother to be out on their own. And It looks like uh, she has all intentions of staying close to him, so that's great.